My name is Madison Trebasket Windsor. I'm 14 years old, a registered member of the Lower Similkameen Indian Band, and I'm an Interior Salish Okanagan in the Silk Territory. Me and my family live in Indian Reserve Number 7, locally known as Blind Creek. Ever since I was a little girl, me and my cousins would play in the water just like our parents did, their parents did, and their parents did. I've been raised around the water, raised to respect my land, and raised to learn my traditions. My family has been living in the Smilkameen Valley for generations and generations. So with many cousins, aunties and uncles, and grandparents, we run a ranch called T6 that takes up our entire reserve. There's a small creek that runs through and which the local name originates from. The creek supports the natural vegetation or horses and other passing animals. Since our land is a desert, temperatures hit highs of 55 degrees and stay consistent throughout the summer. With the non-stop heat, the creek provides hydration for certain species of plants that need a body of water to flourish, especially in our valley's heat. But over the years, our creek has been decreasing significantly due to over-allocation from agriculture, contamination from cattle, and other pollutants being illegally dumped into the water. Every year, starting when we were small children, my cousin and I went to the creek and ran through the mud, swam, and played until the sun went down. It was like entering into a different world, walking in the blistering heat with cactus and sagebrush, but then seeing trees, flowers, shrubs, and water. It made it worth the trek. But now, our creek has been depleted to almost nothing. Seeing my creek fade away, it felt like my childhood memories went with it. Being a water leader to me, is standing up for a resource that is the basis of all life, understanding that power the water has and respecting it, that this earth gives everything and asks for nothing in return, and it comes to no surprise the water will not last if we keep abusing it in such a violent way. I want my kids to be able to grow up in the water just like me and my family have. Taking away the resources that will sustain the generations to come seems like the most selfish thing we could do. To me, it requires motivation, responsibility, work ethic, dedication, knowledge in both Western and traditional information, curiosity, and above all, being able to realize that we are one with the water.